hello welcome back to she's electric or miss fix it you already know the drill catch my other videos make sure you see the notes below for other helpful tips on how to make your living space the best space possible how to do home projects or just to watch me being ridiculous that's that's an option too I'm, I'm totally fine with that anyway um this video coming up is about a transfer switch and how to install that right now is hurricane season in florida where i live and so a lot of people are looking into installing generators now there are many ways to do that you may install um have your generator and it has some plugs on it and just run extension cords into your house eh. is that the best way maybe not trip hazards possibly the extension cords being overloaded and overheating not to scare anybody it's not the best option if it's all you have for now then fine also um, people tend to put the generator a little too close to the house which is dangerous because it gives off carbon dioxide and other gases while it's running because it runs on gas so just things to consider a lot of people are putting in more permanent measures I'm leaving the link below to another generator um, transfer switch well not transfer switch um a manual switch install that i put in for my parents that basically just makes sure that power is not going back on the power lines when the power does come back it'll only be getting power from the generator not having power from the power lines in the generator pff, combining and possibly causing damage to a linesman or to your household appliances so that's an alternative way the transfer switch that i'm putting in refers to uh, another device that you would buy and your electrician would install for you that would um allow you to have a separate little panel box for just essential circuits that you want to keep so enjoy any questions please put them below and i'll see you soon <laughs> So here we have a picture of the transfer switch kit box that the customer had purchased to go along with their generator. You can see all the pieces that are included here. It's available at Lowe's, Home Depot, wherever. So we open up the box. You see those three main leads, red, black, white. Those are used to connect to the 10-3 we're going to run. There's a panel box that we're going to be coming out of to take the existing circuits and putting them in the transfer switch. This is the receptacle, it's a twist lock. I love that. Um, it's made to go from the outlet basically to your generator and it's gonna be mounted outside. Once that is done, you will be able to connect your generator and then subsequently crank it up and provide power to your transfer switch if there is a power outage. You'll see these lovely angle um, connectors for the pipe that's provided and the end connectors. You're gonna feed your wires that are coming out the bottom of your transfer switch, which are going to the circuit breakers that you see here. So in this case, we have uh, one, two, three, four 20 amp circuits and one double amp 30. Um, this box also has meters on top so you can measure how much current is coming and coming out if you have some very sensitive equipment. I love that everything is in one place. It may be cheaper to get them one by one, but the convenience, you can't beat it. So you're going to check the connections on your breakers before you even install it. Make sure it's all nice and tight. So I got a measurement of where I need my hole to be. I'm going through mason brick. So I need a masonry bit. I'm putting out my big girl drill to go all the way through um, from the inside out because we're going to be sending that 10-3 wire that's connecting to our transfer switch out to the receptacle that we're mounting outside so it can get the power that it needs so it's 10 3 nmb so it's made for indoor usage so you need to shield it i'm shielding it with pvc wire some may go with flex or several different designs that could work this is what i'm using feel free to pause to see my little materialist and so we're coming down this wall from the hole that i already made the procedure would be then the 10 3 wire would come um, into the LB, go down into the three quarter inch PVC. Everything's three quarter inch that I'm using here. 
and then it's going to 90 over into the receptacle that I showed you earlier. This is a view from the inside after the hole is made. Um, and then this is a view from the outside after I have installed the LB. So you're going to want to chip away so that it sits flatly on the wall and it looks neat. You see that I once again use my level to make sure that it's parallel to the already existing service line. And it's just for aesthetics, but it makes a big difference. So here is a wire coming out of the 90. You're gonna see um, now that I am gluing all of my connections is better that way so things aren't falling apart as you're trying to put them together. And in the future, um, you're more sure that it won't come apart if something hits it, etc. So you're gonna take that knockout in the box. The maximum size of the knockout that came with this kit was three quarter, which is why I went with three quarter inch um, pipe. You have your um, male end that you're going to put in there and lock not on the other end of course now the 10 3 is coming through very simple connection you're going to land the ground wire to the providing grounding connector red white and black are designated on the receptacle itself making sure you put them where it is labeled very simple you want to make sure that white is in the neutral position so once all the connections are made and everything's nice and snug and tight you've of course secured everything to the wall using in my case uh, mason anchors uh, making everything tight and neat is very important at this point especially your connections so now on the inside we've mounted the transfer switch box also with masonry bits i found the appropriate knockout so that the line coming from the transfer switch into the box is going to be as snug as possible once again using the angle connectors you'll see uh, red and black pairs of wires coming through there is one neutral you need to make sure that you land that on the neutral bar and that is serving as the neutral for the entire system I've already gone through and labeled the circuits that the um, homeowner wanted to keep. This is, of course, the red, black, and white uh, connection from the 10-3 wire, the supply line, coming into your transfer switch. So the lines that I have labeled already and uh, where they're going, uh, we have, once again, four... 20 amp circuits so in their case they wanted some lighting two refrigerators one freezer that was what was of their concern so it just depends on what the customer or what you want this panel box is so neatly labeled a b c d e f make sure that you follow that and carefully label what conductors or what circuits you're transferring over so it'll make it easier for the homeowner in the future and it's safer that way in case you need to cut off the power for any given reason so what you do basically is you're going to take the incoming line whatever it may be and tie it into the black wire the red wire is going to be landed onto your breaker the corresponding ones that you've already labeled just make it very simple for yourself once you've already made your key of where everything is going then you follow that so for example this is the a set you have a black a and a red a black a gets tied into your light going out and the red a gets tied into the circuit breaker so that's it keep doing that throughout all your pairs you already have labeled make sure you keep it neat close everything up neatly all the wires are tucked away and then you test and hopefully everything works like it did for us let me know if you have any questions or comments leave them below um i try to make this as simple as possible of course it always comes with instructions that are also clear between them and me you should be good